What's up you guys? This is Adam Gillespie with Rancid and Sweaty Calves coming at you with yet another video. And yes, I do have Bounding Into Comics back up as I promised in my previous video, which was my update video after the aftermath of Hurricane Ian. I am covering the Superboy gay Superman storyline that has just been announced to be cancelled by... DC Comics, which is, honestly, it's amazing that it took this long, but, it, you know, it's not even getting to 20 issues, it's just going to 18 issues, and then it's finally going to be done. Thank goodness. As you can see from the title of this article, it says, DC Comics announces the cancellation of Tom Taylor's Woke Superman, Superman Son of Kal-El series. DC Comics announced at its New York Comic Con that Superman Son of Kal-El will end in December with its 18th issue. The series only lasted a year and a half after being mired with controversy as written by Tom Taylor used the comic to push extreme left-wing political stories on several occasions. Yeah, that, just a quick highlight as to what those are. And I'm not going to go through this entire article. I want you guys to go read that and actually see what it is this article says. I'm just going to give a rundown of what exactly this gay Superman was all about. He protested climate change. He had to stand up to internet hate. And the main thing that they talked about as to why it is they enjoyed the character so much, the Tom Taylor writing the character, is that he didn't throw a single punch in his first, like, five issues. All of that's stupid. Climate change. Superman can actually do something about it. The ice caps are melting. Oh, I guess I'll just use my freeze breath to fix the problem. Oh, it's getting too cold? I guess I'll just use my laser vision to fix the problem. Oh, there's a shifting tectonic plate and there's an earthquake happening. Oh, I guess I'll use my super strength and super speed and flight to go fix the problem. Nothing about that makes sense. Him getting controversy from internet trolls is something that everybody goes through. There's nothing special about that. And him not fighting bad guys. I think the quote was this, actually. The fact that he's not punching bad guys because being publicly gay is so much more brave than punching bad guys. No, it's not. Simply choosing to want to get down on another guy is not brave when you're trying to stop the world from being destroyed or overrun by vile, evil people. The, la the former or the latter, I don't remember the term. Stopping bad guys is far more important than whether or not you like to be with a guy or a girl. That doesn't matter. Stopping bad people is more important than who you like to screw. Now, as a Christian, I do believe that at who you like to screw is also very important, but I also think it's important how you screw, and I think you should wait until after marriage, and it should be a man and a woman, because that's how God intended it, that's how biology works, that's how we procreate. It's basic, basic math. That's just my opinion as a Christian. I know a lot of people probably won't agree with that, and I know some of my viewers and subscribers won't agree with that. Know that I am not sending any hate to anyone who is of the homosexual faction of the world, I actually pity them. I care for them for the sake of their souls, and I wish God would save them. Please don't take that the wrong way. I'm not calling for anyone to be hurt if they are of that degree, if they do prefer that motive of relationship. I, 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 I want the best for them, and I, I, as a Christian, I do believe that the best is that they, they find God and that God saves them from their sins. Just as God saved me from my sins, and just as God saves many Christians from their sins. Sorry for going off on that tangent. I just wanted to get that out of the way so people don't accuse me of hating gay people because I don't. Um, but yeah, th this whole comic has been nothing. Nothing but an extremist leftist ideology being pushed through the pages of a comic book character. With the rebranding of the Superman name, they changed the Superman motto from truth, justice, and the American way to truth, justice, and a better world or a better tomorrow. And, and that's a problem, too, because that's their way of saying we don't like America anymore. When if you look at the context of what that actually means within the character and the relationship of the character of the country of the original Superman to that line of dialogue, him saying, I stand for truth, justice, and the American way. The American way is the ideal path forward. The American way is the idea that people have the freedom to choose for themselves what they want to do with their lives. The ability to chase their dreams and passions and goals and futures. The ability for them to have the ability to actually do the right thing without having to worry about someone coming and oppressing them. Not being taxed without representation. Equality. That's the whole thing about the American way. The American way is equality, equal opportunity. Not equal outcome, because equal outcome has to be 
the oppression of others. Equal outcome oppresses people. Equal opportunity does not. Because at that point, it becomes everyone's choice and ability within their own right to do something. Yet they changed the motto from truth, justice, and the American way to truth, justice, and a better tomorrow because they don't want to focus on Americanism. They don't want to focus on high American ideals. They don't want to focus on those things. They actually hate America, and they think that Superman should hate America as well. Several years back, Superman rena renounced and denounced his American citizenship in the comics, which was a huge misstep for uh, DC Comics because Marvel came out with the Captain America movie right around there. And that blew everything out of the water because it was a very highly American film. He was a very American character and he stood for American ideals. And those American ideals are still the best ideals that this world has ever seen. Apart from, of course, the Christian ideals. But the Christian ideals get embedded into the American ideals in the way that the country was founded. They changed that because they hate the fact that Superman once stood for Americanism and nationalism. And he actually did care for the country that raised him and the family that came from that country more than other countries. Now, he still cared for the world generally, and he still cared for the world equally, and he would still fight to protect the world from harm, but he did care about his home country, the country that he was raised in. But they change everything. They change everything about this character for the sake of wokeism. And they have finally had to admit that after 18 issues, they have lost money. The sales are abysmal. Tom Taylor has made a massive misstep. They're talking about the fact that they want to do a five-issue miniseries because that's apparently exactly what everyone wants to do with comics is have a freaking miniseries that stops immediately. The problem with this character is that they took something that was established, gave the name of another character to the next generation character, swapped the sexuality of that character, and fetishized it on, on every comic book page that they did, changed the outlook of the character, the motto of the character, changed everything about the character, and then called you homophobic, racist, sexist, whatever it is they were going to call you, some sort of bigot or some sort of ist, or istophobe, they called you a bigot for not liking the fact that they altered your character, the character that you grew up on. The character that had so much about that, so much to them, so much wonderful story to them. And they called you a bigot for not liking the changes that they made. They called you a bigot for preferring the original character, the character that made the whole country fall in love with them in the first place, over the new character that is poorly written and poorly drawn and poorly everything. And doesn't have anything to go on with about themselves apart from who it is they're screwing. Just like Tim Drake or any of the other stupid comic book storylines that have now just de devolved to the point of, Oh, do you like guys? Well, that's amazing. Oh, are you a girl who also likes girls? Well, you're amazing. That's annoying. Nobody wants to see that. No one cares. In general, the, the, the populace of America, the populace of the world doesn't care if a person likes to screw someone of the same sex. They care about the quality of the story and the character in general. They care about the fact that the character actually has a story to go on with. And so often, the character's story is sidelined for the sake of showing it that they like to screw someone of the same sex or multiple people at the same time. It's annoying, it's pointless, and it's gotten so stupid. And DC Comics has finally had to walk back on this, and I am so happy that that's the case. Now, I'm going to stop my ranting for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Comment down below your thoughts on this situation, your opinions, so on and so forth. Cheesecake Bunny, if you are watching, I want you to comment because it's, it's fun to have a nice little back-and-forth banter of differing ideologies and opinions. I, I appreciate you a lot, man. Um, Jim Squire, I hope you didn't uh, think I died or anything like that, but I'm back. Uh, I appreciate your support, man. And I hope all is well up in Canada. I think that's where you said you're from. Uh, I hope you're I hope you're doing well. And uh, hey, if you decide you're going to do some videos, I encourage you to. All right. Uh, and to anyone else who's watching out there whose names I'm not mentioning because I don't have all my subscribers' names, I appreciate you beyond belief. Um, now make sure to share this video out there with your friends. I know this is a long ending. I'm going to leave links to the description of my about my Patreon and my Rumble. Oh, sorry. Make sure to check those out. And I hope you guys have a great day and a great rest of the week.